Here are some salient points from the book, The Manual, A Philosopher's Guide to Life by Epictetus. Normally when I do these book summary videos, I summarize and interpret the key takeaways in my own words. However, this time I've decided to use direct quotes because I believe Epictetus, and in this case, the translator, Thomas Wentworth Higginson, have done such an excellent job of succinctly summarizing their points in clear, plain language. Also, this is going to be part one of a multi-part series on this book because I feel it's so full of practical wisdom that one quick summary won't be enough. Whenever distress or displeasure arises in your mind, remind yourself, this is only my interpretation, not reality itself. Then ask whether it falls within or outside your sphere of power. And if it is beyond your power of control, let it go. Desire demands the attainment of that which you desire and aversion demands the avoidance of that which you dislike. End the habit of despising things that are not within your power and apply your aversion to things that are within your power. When you embrace your wife or child, remember that they are mortal beings. By accepting their nature rather than denying it, if either should die, you will find the strength to bear it. In preparing for any action, remind yourself of the true nature of the action. For instance, if you are going to a public pool, remind yourself of the usual incidents. People splashing, some pushing, some scolding, thieves stealing unguarded personal belongings. You will not be disturbed if you go into the experience prepared for such things and determined to retain inner harmony. If something undesirable happens, you will be able to say, my desire is not only to swim, but to remain in harmony with the nature of things. I cannot stay in harmony if I let myself become upset by things not within my control. And so it is with every act we experience. People are not disturbed by things themselves, but by the views they take of those things. People who are ignorant of philosophy blame others for their misfortunes. People who are beginning to learn philosophy blame themselves. People who have mastered philosophy blame no one. During a voyage, when the ship is anchored and you go ashore for supplies, you may amuse yourself with picking up seashells or pretty stones along the way, but keep your thoughts attuned on the ship, keeping alert to the captain's call. You may need to drop your treasures and run back to the boat at any time. Likewise in life, remain steadfast in pursuing your mission, always willing to shed distractions. Whenever a challenge arises, Turn inward and ask what power you can exercise in this situation. If you meet temptation, use self-control. If you meet pain, use fortitude. If you meet revulsion, use patience. Do not wish that all things will go well with you, but that you will go well with all things. For a curated collection of more recommended books inspired by mindfulness and stoicism, head over to mindfulstoic.net slash books.